Hello Internet, Barak Dhawan here. In this video, we will see how to inspect our NumPy arrays. For this purpose, we are importing NumPy as NP. In the next cell, we are creating three NumPy arrays. First, we are creating one dimensional NumPy array using np.array function and storing it in A. In second, we are creating two dimensional NumPy array of data type, each element of data type float and storing it in variable B. Third, we are creating a three-dimensional NumPy array using npage.array function, each having a data type load and storing it in variable C. Suppose if you, if you have an array and you want to know the characteristics of the NumPy array, first characteristic, you want to know the dimension, then you can use the shape attribute of the NumPy array. In this case, we are looking at the shape of a one dimensional array e it returns a tuple each entity or element in the tuple represents the dimension here we have only one ent entry inside the tuple segregated by comma means it is a one dimensional numpy array and three represent that the number of elements inside this array a is three if you want to cross check this you can call length function on the numpy array length a will give length of number of elements in the numpy array a in this case number of element is 3 another attribute to get the number of dimension of the array is endim so for array b we are calling endim attribute this will give number of dimensions in numpy array b there are two dimensions. If you want to get the number of elements of the array, then you can use the attribute size. For array B, we are calling size attribute. It will give six, means it has six elements inside it. If you want to know the data type of the array which you have created or you have you have with you, you can use D type attribute. For the three dimensional array C, we are calling the type attribute. If you run the cell, data type of the C array is float64. If you just want to get the data type name, then you can call D type attribute followed by the name attribute. It will give the name of the data type only. In this case, it is float64. If you want to convert a data type of an array into another data type, then you can use stype function and pass it a parameter, the data type which is to be converted. For example, in this case, we want to convert uh, three-dimensional numpy array C from float64 to int, then C dot S type int will convert the numpy array C into integer and return here we are directly printing the array on the user screen we are not altering it for so if we insert a cell above escape a print c you will see that changes are not made to c c remains as it is c dot s type function will return a new numpy array if you want to update c you have to alter this st statement as c is equal to c dot s type int now your c variable contains conversion of c numpy array into numpy array of type integer and if you print c now you can see each element of this two di three dimensional numpy array is a integer that's it for this video we have seen what are the attributes and function which you can use to inspect a numpy array which you have first is a shape attribute which returns a tuple elements in the tuple represent the dimension and the number of the element represents the element in that dimension length of the array using length function number of dimension of the array using nd attribute number of elements of the array using size attribute data type of the array using d type attribute name of the data type of the array using d type dot name attribute 
and conversion of array from one data type unit to another using s type function passing it a parameter a uh, data type in which the every element of the numpy array is to be converted thank you thanks for watching do hit the subscribe button for more such technical content see you in the next video